In a four-year safety report this morning, there have been multiple sightings of jellyfish in our area. The Shore Beach Services tells News 3 there were 2,300 jellyfish stings on Hilton Head Island alone this week. Now, News 3 Shana Ferreira is on your side with a look at how to deal with an emergency situation if you find yourself stung by a jellyfish. She's here with us in studio to talk more about that this morning. Shana, good morning to you. Good morning, Ben. Jellyfish stings can be potentially deadly if left untreated. Just like you said, 2,300 stings in our area. Officials tell us there are about 70 Hilton Head Island lifeguards on staff, and some of them have treated as many as 100 people within a day's shift. Now, the Beach Shore officials say lifeguards in the Low Country have been treating stings with a vinegar based spray on the beach, and some didn't require medical attention, but that's not the case for everyone. Reactions do vary based on the person and, of course, the species of the jellyfish. I spoke with one expert who says, how you treat a sting and the timeline for treatment could mean the difference between life and death. What happens when you're stung with a jellyfish is uh, it implants nematocysts into your, into your skin, which is a lot like a bee sting, only there's a lot of them. You, you just want to go and get the nematocysts removed and the poison inactivated. Now here are some tips for you. You should always stop swimming activity right away and seek medical attention. Even if you are treated with a lifeguard on duty with some kind of solution they'll have on hand, it's always a good idea to see a professional as soon as you can. Also make sure your tetanus shots are up to date and never urinate on yourself. Experts say it does not help with the pain associated with the sting. Another immediate solution is warm water immersion. By putting warm water on the affected area, the pain should lighten up. Now experts also say to consider wearing a protective suit when in jellyfish prone waters. It's also smart to get information from locals or even officials with the health department about swimming conditions before you dive into those coastal waters. We have a list of this information on our website. Just head over to WSAV.com slash jellyfish safety. In the studio, Shana Ferreira, WSAV News 3.